Hallelujah. Amen. I would like to share a verse with you. I'm reading from Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17 and 18. So the fig tree does not bud and there are no grapes on the vines though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stalls yet I will rejoice in the Lord I will be joyful in God my savior Amen we are coming live to you from Gospel Centers International Sikarod where we fulfill the great commission with excellence we have the zamar worshipers and tehila voices ready for our powerful ministration we're going to have a session of giving and thereafter a powerful session of uh, the word of the season from one of our most seasoned preachers we are glad you're here with us stay tuned and share with friends welcome, welcome. Dunia amani Amen ifanyia amani Amen ifanyia amani Kaondoa amani Huyu Yesu we Amen ifanyia Oh huyu bwana Yesu Amen ifanyia Huyu Yesu we amenifanyia furaha Huyu Bwana Yesu amenifanyia furaha Kaondoa huzuni yangu huzuni yangu kanifanyia furaha Oh huyu Bwana Yesu amenifanyia furaha Oh huyu Yesu wangu amenifanyia furaha Kaondoa huyu Amen 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 he is a faithful god he is the prince of peace and we are glad this morning that you have tuned in my name is Mofat Ngudheru Wambura the resident pastor right here at GCI Thika Road where we love god with a passion and we are glad that god has given us an opportunity to reach you where you are god bless you so much i would like us to begin this service with a word of prayer indeed we are praying that the peace of god will keep your heart let's pray together Father in the mighty name of Jesus we thank you this morning for giving us yet another day oh God to come in
into your presence to serve you. Lord, to bring our sacrifice to you in the name of Jesus. And we pray that thy heaven shall be opened upon us, King of glory, in the name of Jesus. We commit this service to you, mighty Father. We commit our viewers into your hands, my God, in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Lord God Almighty, that you may release a special anointing upon every one of them in the mighty name of Jesus. As you speak to your people, speak to us, Jehovah God, and change our lives so that we can be conformed to your purpose and to your will. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen and amen. We welcome you to our online service. We are sure that the Lord is going to bless you in a very special way. And I want us to enter to a time of praising God, dancing for the Lord. Put on your dancing shoe and let's, let us dance unto the Lord. We know when our praises go up, the glory of God comes in a mighty way. The Lord bless you as we welcome Zamal voices. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. We want to declare that he's an excellent God. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How excellent is your name, O oh Lord. How excellent, how excellent is your name, O oh Lord. How excellent, how excellent is your name, O oh Lord. How powerful, how powerful is your name, O oh Lord. Oh, how Powerful, how powerful is your name, O oh Lord? How powerful, how powerful, how powerful, how powerful is your name? How powerful, how powerful, how powerful is your name? Oh, how powerful, how powerful, how powerful. How powerful. Koli tu kuzwe bana, jina la ko. Koli tu kuzwe bana, jina la ko. Koli tu kuzwe bana, jina la ko. Jina la ko. Jina la ko. Jina la koli tu kuzwe. Jina la ko, jina la ko, jina la ko li tu. Oh, jina la ko, jina la ko, jina la ko. Eh, jina la ko, jina la ko, jina la ko. Kuzwe, jina la ko li nuli we bana. Jina la ko, jina la ko li nuli we bana. Jina la ko, jina la ko li nuli we bana. Jina la ko, jina la ko, jina la ko, jina la ko li nuli we. Jina la ko, jina la ko. Jina la ko li nuli we. Oh, jina la ko, jina la ko, jina la ko. Eh, jina la ko, jina la ko, jina la ko. Oh, jina la ko, jina la ko, jina la ko. Eh, jina la ko, jina la ko. How glorious is your name, O Lord. How glorious, glorious is your name, O Lord. How 
glorious, oh, glorious is your name, O oh, Lord. How glorious, how glorious is your name, O oh, Lord. How glorious, how glorious, how glorious, how glorious is your name. How glorious, how glorious, how glorious, oh, how glorious, how glorious, how glorious, how glorious, how glorious, how glorious is your name, awesome God, mighty God. I give you praise, awesome God. You are an awesome God. I give you praise, awesome God. I give you praise. 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 You are higher, lifted up, O some God. You are higher, lifted up, O God. You are higher, lifted up. You are. Awesome God, awesome God, you are higher, you are higher, lifted up, mighty God. Awesome God, mighty God, I give you praise, awesome God. Awesome God, awesome God, mighty God, I give you praise. Awesome God, I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. Awesome God, you are higher lifted up, oh God. You are higher lifted up, you are higher lifted up, awesome God. You are higher lifted up, mighty God. You are higher lifted up, awesome God. Come on, worship the Lord in this place. Oh God, we worship you. You are higher lifted up than every other God. Hakuna kama wewe. Wakuabudiwa ni wewe peke yako. Wakupewa sifa ni wewe peke yako. We ambaye umeketi kitini cha enzi. We ambaye umeinuliwa juu ya miungu yote. It is a privilege to worship you, oh God. It is a privilege to be in your presence, oh God. Let our worship be acceptable before you, oh God. Wakuabudiwa, wakuheshimiwa ni wewe, Mungu. Wakupewa sifa na utukufu ni wewe, Mungu. Mungu mwenye nguvu wastahili heshima zote Hakuna mwingine wakulinganishwa na wewe Mungu wako abudiwa 
Shimiwa ni wewe ni wewe peke yako Wakupe wasifa Wakupe wasifa Wakupe wasifa Wakupe ni wewe ni wewe bwana Mungu mwenye nguvu mwenye nguvu wewe wastahili heshima heshima zote hakuna mwingine hakuna wakulinganishwa kulinganishwa na wewe again we give you all the praise our god we honor you the lord our king our strength and our shield thank you king of all the glory because you've been our strength you have been our shield and our buckler we exalt you we magnify you in the name of jesus our dear viewers wherever you are lift your voice before the lord and offer your worship unto the lord this morning heavenly father we acknowledge your supremacy in our lives we acknowledge your goodness and your favor we acknowledge your mercies we acknowledge your love upon us oh god we acknowledge your faithfulness oh god in the name of jesus for sure lord we can join the person who said umetenda mambo mako leo bwana tunakupa sifa zetu tunakupa utukufu jehova kwa maana umefanya mambo ambayo mwanadamu hawezi kuyatenda because you are god alone and there is no one else like you jehova god we glorify you jehova god in the name of jesus we lift our voices to honor you we lift our voices to acknowledge your goodness oh god indeed you are our lord you are our master you are our king you are god of our flesh you are god of our lives 
You are God of our families. You are God of our nation. You are God of Africa. We praise you. Umetenda mambo ya ajabu. Umetenda mambo mako. Hakuna liye kama wewe. Jehovah ni jina lako. Wewe umetukuka. Wewe umeinuliwa. Poke ya sifa zetu. Poke ya utukufu mungu wa ajabu. Asanti Jehovah. Tunainua sifa zetu. Kwa kwa buwana. Mana unastahili zote. Unastahili zote buwana. Gubu na mamlaka ni zako. Tunakupa sifa. Tunakupa utukufu buwana. Kwa wema wako buwana. Umetupa uhai. Kwa wema wako Jehovah. Umetupa afia njema. Kwa wema wako buwana. Umetupikisha hapa. Wewe ni ebeneza. Mungu wa rehema. Poke ya sifa zetu. Thank you, our Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to read a scripture from Psalms chapter number 46. Psalms chapter number 46, this is what the Bible says. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Hallelujah. Though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake and its swelling, praise God, we shall not fear. Praise be to God. Amen. I want you to lift your voice this hour. The Bible says that you shall decree a thing and shall be established. And without faith we cannot please the Lord. I want you to declare by the word of the Lord to that mountain that has been standing before you and declare it. Who art thou great mountain standing before me? You shall become a chaff because the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my refuge. I shall not be afraid. Lift your voice this morning in Jesus name. Father we declare that you being on our side we shall not be moved. We thank you our Father because you have done great things. When we look behind we see all the things you have done for us. We see my Father where you have taken us from and we are here to glorify you and to acknowledge oh God you are the Lord our strength. You are the Lord, uh, our refuge, O oh God. We have hid in our, ourselves to you, O oh God. Because even in the day of trouble, we have seen you as our present help. We glorify you. We exalt you, our King. We lift your name on high, everlasting Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh God. Uh, because when I look ahead of me, I see favor. I see your goodness. I see your mercy. I see your loving kindness. I thank you, my Father, because I know with you, Jehovah God, there is no mountain that is too high for me. I thank you, my Father, because I know with you, King of glory, I reap of our war because you are with me, O oh God. I thank you, my Father, because there is no battle that is so fierce for me, O oh God, because my Father, with you on my side, I can break the bow of iron with my hands, O oh Lord. The bow of steel is broken by my hand because, O oh Lord, the battle belongs to you. I praise you, my Father, because every mountain is being lowered down in the name of Jesus. I thank you this morning because every valley is being elevated in the name of Jesus. Every crooked way is being made straight in the name of Jesus. Oh, my Father, let there be a way where there is no way for your people, my God, in the name of Jesus. We are here, my Father, to acknowledge your goodness, to acknowledge your power. Lord, we have read, uh, oh my God, how you made a way for your people, oh God, even in the Red Sea. Lord, in the desert, you provided for them, even rivers in the desert, oh God. My Father, because you are God, because you are faithful, we praise you this morning because you're doing something new in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Father, we thank you for our nation, Kenya, oh God. We lift Kenya into your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, gather your people together as a, ch- as a hand, oh God. Gather is their children, my God and our Father. Gather Kenyans in peace. Gather Kenyans, oh God, with joy. Gather Kenyans with righteousness, with your, your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, our Father, thank you for the church, oh God, the body of Christ in our nation, because Lord, you are reviving your people. You are doing something new, oh God. You are building the church by your mighty hand. For you said, I shall build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. I pray this morning, in the name of Jesus, let the mighty power of the Holy Spirit be poured afresh upon the church to build the body of Christ in the name of Jesus. Be glorified this morning. Be exalted because you are God in our midst. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Father, we thank you for this service, O God. As we gather together as a people, we gather in the name of the Lord. And your word says, where two or three shall gather in your name, my Father, you shall be in their midst. And as we gather, O God, even online in our homes, Father, by faith, we know you are in our midst because you're not limited by time. You're not limited by distance. And you are here with us doing something new, touching every heart, changing every life, O God, for the glory of your name. Bless your people today in Jesus' name we pray. Amen Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. As you continue to follow us online, may the Lord bless you. I am sure you have been blessed by this wonderful team, the Zamal Voices. God bless you. Wonderful team. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that wonderful time. I would like us this particular time to enter into a time of giving our offerings. Hallelujah. It is a time of giving. A time of giving. It is a time of joy. A time of giving. It is a time of lifting. I tell people that God is not a fundraiser, but God is is a raiser of man. As you give your offering, God raises you to another level of glory. Please, you can get your phone and give your uh, 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 your offering online. Our pay bill number is 522-522 and our account number is 1239-00-4419. Let me say that again. Our pay bill number is 522 and Five two two, and our uh, pay bill number one two three nine double zero double four one nine. Amen. It will be going down on your screen, and the Lord will bless you as you give your tithing, as you give your offering, as you uh, pay your pledges. May the Lord Lord bless you. Meanwhile, I have a wonderful wonderful uh, team of ministration right behind me. The Tehila Voices. This is our choir, and I believe that the Lord inhabits the praises of his people. As you give your offering, they will be ministering to the Lord, and I know you shall also be blessed. I will be back shortly to pray with us. God bless you. Welcome. Yes, Kaburi, Liwazi, Ki. 
wazi Kifo hakina mamlaka Tena Ambe fufuka yesu Kaburi ndi wazi Kifo hakina mamlaka Tena Amen. Indeed, indeed, he's a faithful God. He's alive, and I thank God. There is no such faith like our faith, where our master died and resurrected, and he's alive. And today, he can see you through your situation. If he overcame the grave, even your situation, you will overcome. The Lord bless you. I want us to pray for our offering before we welcome the ministration of the word of God. And I am sure that God is going to bless us together. Let's, let us pray together. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you this morning for your faithfulness. Thank you for the offerings of your people. Lord, every sacrifice that have come before you, we pray that your blessing shall be upon your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak upon your people the blessing upon the works of their hands, upon their income, upon their storehouses, upon everything that they do. May they have increased, may they be fruitful in the mighty name name of Jesus. Lord, we give you glory and we honor you for this is the day that you have made for your people to rejoice. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And may you receive the blessing of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. That song of uh, Tehillahs is still ringing in my heart. It's a powerful song. May the Lord bless the Tehillahs in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I want us to enter into another session. The Bible says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of the Lord God Almighty. And I believe that this particular time, the Lord has prepared a table for us. We are going to break the word of God, the bread of the word of God, through the servant of the Lord, Reverend Stephen Garoyamboro, who is our lead pastor, a man of God that speaks in our lives and things happen. And this particular time, put your hands together and welcome the man of God, Reverend Stephen Garoyamboro. Amen. Thank you, thank you, Pastor Moffat and the, the teams, the, uh, the Zamar voices and the Tehillah voices. That was a wonderful ministration. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you in a big way. Indeed, we are grateful to God this morning because of the grace of God that he has shown to us. I am Reverend Stephen Ngaruyamboro, and we continue with this word of God today. And indeed, we are blessed to have you with us. Just want to remind you that we are coming to you from Gospel Centers International, and you are watching us either from Facebook Live, Gospel Centers International, uh, Facebook Live, or GCI Thicker Road, YouTube. God bless you. We have our brothers and sisters who are following us from Makinika Online Radio. God bless you as you do follow us. This morning... I want to come before the Lord with thanksgiving. We are continuing with our series of the, um, with the word of God from the series I've entitled Beyond the Horizons, Beyond the Horizons. Basically, this series is to help us understand how God has dealt with man from the beginning and how the grace of God has been so sufficient and how God has planned us continue all um, uh, through life. And so I want to believe that we are together in the name of Jesus. I want to believe that we are okay in the name of the Lord. Just to give you a bit of recap uh, for purpose of those who have not been with us the last two Sundays. This is uh, the third Sunday that we are looking at this. is a th um, is the third part of the, um, the series entitled 
beyond the horizons. We are saying that um, this series is to help you as a believer understand how uh, God has dealt with man and how he has connected the dots. Because from creation, God has never lost the connection with man. Despite the failure of man, God all through has maintained the um the connection with man. And we saw that there are five areas that men have disconnected and continued uh, with God. And um, we saw from the first, from the beginning, that God gave man an opportunity or humanity an opportunity to, dom to have dominion on all God's creation as a part, um, as a steward of God's, um, God's creation. But of course, and last Sunday, we saw that God, uh, man failed, and indeed when he failed, God took, um, God, um, uh, God dis, uh, discharged man from the Garden of Eden, and we looked at that in the, in part two of our, of our, of our series, when we looked at Genesis chapter 1 verses 26, and we realized that God was annoyed with man, chased him out of the Garden of Eden, and because of, uh, because of heeding to the voice coming from, uh, from the Satan, and we saw how um, man lost dominion and lost the authority that God had given him. And we looked at four, uh, four cardinal issues. Number one, we looked at how woman um, uh, was deceived by the devil, the, I mean the serpent, and lost the connection with God. We saw that, the, that she saw the fruit was pleasant to the eye, and so she took it. Number three, we saw that she ate it and uh, thought that it was going to give her um, her wisdom, and uh, finally she gave her husband. And by so doing, she lost that connection and she lost, lost that favor that God had given to mankind. And so we saw that as we continued, that God brought judgment, but because he's a God of love, God extended his love to mankind by killing an animal which offer, came in as a sacrifice so that man can be uh, covered his nakedness, and we saw that that was a tip, a tip um, was a type of a type of Christ that went to the cross for us. And we looked at the love of God, which through Jesus Christ, the Bible says that for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but shall have eternal life. So that is what we have covered so far. And this morning, I want to come to you and bring you the part three of this message, Beyond the Horizon. Beyond the Horizon. And I want to read a rather longer uh, portion of the scripture today. And I intend to read from the New International Version. I have been using the New King James Version, but if you allow me this morning, I will read from the New King, I mean New International Version of Genesis chapter 6 from verses 1 to verses 13. And I want to believe that you are going to follow with me. God bless you in Jesus' name. Now, when human beings began to increase in number on the earth, and the daughters were born to them. Then the sons of God saw that the daughters of humans were beautiful, and they married, and any of them they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit will not contend with humans forever, for they are mortal. Their days will be a hundred and twenty years. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days. And also afterwards, when the sons of God went to the daughters of humans and children um, and had children by them, they were the heroes of old, men of renown. Now the Lord saw how great the wickedness of human race had become on the earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of human heart was only evil all the time. The Lord regretted that he had made human beings on the earth, and his heart was deeply troubled. So the Lord said, I will wipe from the face of the earth the human race I have created, and with them the animals 
the birds and the creatures that move along the ground. For I regret that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Verses 9. This is the account of Noah and his family. Noah's was righteous, blameless, and among people of his time. And he walked faithfully with God. Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now the earth was cor corrupt in God's sight and was full of violence. God saw how corrupt the earth had become. For all the people on earth had corrupted their ways. So God said to Noah, I am going to put to an end all the people from the earth is filled uh, uh, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. I am sure going to destroy both them and the earth. So make yourself an ark, cypress wood, make room in it, and coat it with pitch inside and out. Let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. We have read your word this morning. We want to believe that Jehovah God, your word is power and your word is life. And as we have read this word this morning, Lord, we want to understand and appreciate the plan that you had for mankind. And as we study, my Father, I pray that you may open our ears of understanding and open my, uh, uh, open my ears and eyes as well, that Jehovah God may use me as a vessel to bring the son, the, the, thine word, O God, to your people in the name of Jesus. I commit my listeners to you, and I pray that God you use me as a vessel for the glory and honor of your name. In Christ Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. My dear viewers and listeners, this morning I want to bring the part three of this series called the uh, Beyond the Horizon. And we want to look at the destructive nature of man that came about because of his disobedience to the voice and the command of God. The destructive nature of man continued to increase after Adam and was uh, after Adam was chased out of the Garden of Eden. We see the relationship between man and man and then man and God falling from worse to worse. And we find that two first offerings of Adam and Eve develop such a jealousy between them to the extent that Cain kills his brother and God is displeased with him. We read that in the book of Genesis chapter 4. And in chapter 6 and chapter 5 we see the genealogy of the family of Adam. Then come chapter 6 we find the story of how evil had increased until it had reached a very serious level that displeased God and judgment came upon humanity. We find man had deteriorated from bad to worse and God was so much and displeased with them until it got to a point where he said, I will destroy man. And as power series, a uh, series on Beyond the Horizon, God still shows grace and love to mankind. And God chooses this man called Noah, uh, um, uh, Noah in this episode to show love and grace to him. And by so doing, we find that God chooses somebody to show mercy and somebody whom he is going to use to be able to progress his program and his plan of uh, future, um, uh, of future, and beyond the horizon, beyond the level of mankind, beyond the level that man could see and operate. And this morning, I want to tell, to let you know that God is such a gracious God that even when man sinned, God, even when man displeased God, even when man uh, did evil before God. God still had mercy upon mankind. God's displeasure on man in Genesis chapter 6 is one of those great dis and greatly disturbing occurrences. The evil of that time was so great that even the sons of God who are believed to be heavenly bodies or spirits had come down and taken the daughters of men and married them and even had gotten children with them and even had uh, 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 in form of uh, they had become giants and they became a disgrace even before God. 
And the Bible says, And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and the beast, and the creeping thing, and the fall of the air. For it repenteth me to uh, that I have made them. For the first time, God is saying that he regrets to, to have created man. When we saw the fall of Adam, what God did, he chased Adam and Eve from the garden of Aden and put a cherubim to guard the, the garden of Aden so that man could not go, come back there. But we found that God brought um, that, uh, um, grace upon Adam and put uh, a clothed Adam with an animal skin, meaning that God went out of his way to show love for his mankind, although he had fallen, but he showed mercy and kindness and love by create, killing an animal so that he may cover the nakedness of Adam. And now, at this level, by the time we are getting to Genesis chapter 6, God is saying that I am going to destroy mankind because evil and uh, evil had increased in such a great manner that even the sons of God, who are believed to be angels, I mean, uh, uh, spirits and heavenly bodies, had even come down and even fallen into the trap of the devil and even taken uh, the daughters of the earth to be their wives and even gotten their children. And I want to tell you that we are no better. This time is no better than the time of Noah when God said that I am displeased with man for man has become so wicked and evil even in his thoughts. For man has become so displeasing. There is nothing good that could be reported about man. There are three things that I want to mention here where which comes or pops up as the sin of humanity in that time. One of the things that we find is the sin of sexual, a, a sexual sin that was so rampant in that time. The Bible says that the sons of God had even come and taken the sons of the daughters of men, and they bear children to them, and the same came, became mighty men who were renowned. Sexual sin is one of the sins that grieves God greatly. Sexual sin is one that makes man even be, uh, uh, depart, I mean, um, um, a man be pushed away from the princes of God. The other sin is shedding of blood. This too becomes an abomination before God. And God here saying that I cannot continue seeing man. I will destroy man because of the level of sexual sin that has increased in, in, a, in, a, in the earth. Just this uh, a reminder, even of the things that happened, even in the land of uh, Gol, um, uh, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, because God detests the sin, of, I mean the sexual sin, and God does not give an ear. God does not look down into a nation or even to a country, even, even to to a people that have given themselves to sexual sin. When we fall into this kind of perversion, the Bible says that God forbid, uh, forgets us. God leaves us even to die in our sin. And because of this sexual sin, God says that he is going to destroy mankind because man has become an abomination before him. So the first sin that we find is the sexual sin that was so rampant in that time and God said that he is going to destroy man because that sexual sin had greatly grieved God and the same sin as we have said made God so grieved even in Sodom and Gomorrah and made him even punish Sodom and Gomorrah and in the same manner God said that he was going to destroy mankind because of this sexual sin except for Noah, who was an except before God, and who God says he found grace and favor before him. Let me tell you that we cannot even laugh at the people of the generation of Noah. In fact, for us, we are even worse than the generation that existed during Noah's time. Sexual sin is so rampant even in our society at all levels. We know that sexual sin is one of the sins 
that has become so rampant and has made God annoyed and grieved for creating mankind. And I want to tell you that when you see the rampantness of the sexual sin, then you know that the punishment of God is not very far. It shall happen to us just like it happened to Noah's time. The second scene that we find that is recorded here is wickedness of man and his imagination. And this is not foreign to us. We know that man has become so deceitful. The Bible says that there is, there is that the heart of man is as the most deceitful than any other thing. And there is none that does right. This is the issue of imagination, the issue of self, the issue of personal uh, interest, the issue of personal personal gratification, the issue of one thinking highly of himself, and the issue of one not regarding God. God does not allow anyone to have a, um, a mind even to think of himself being greater. By so doing, this becomes a detestable thing before God and a abomination before God. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination and the thought of his heart was only evil continually. I want to, know, to tell you, to let you know that this is not different. The days of Noah are not different from our days today because we know that the hearts of men are so deceitful. Today, man's imagination has gone beyond even, if, uh, even what we can describe. People can sit back and imagine and even plan evil and even execute evil. We have seen even in our nation that even, even those that have been caught doing evil and even imagining evil and executing evil, even when they go to, uh, to jail, they continue exercising that in jail. I know of us who are in Kenya, uh, uh, several of us even receive messages written we know where these messages come from. These messages come from criminals who are behind bars. Yet, even in that state where they have been put behind bars, the heart of man has become so, uh, so evil, so evil, so wicked, that even when they are serving their jail term, they continue doing evil because the heart of man is most deceitful than any other thing. Jeremiah chapter 17 verses 9 to, say, uh, um, uh, to 10 says, the heart is deceitful about all things and are desperately wicked who can know it. I, the Lord, such the heart. I try the reins even, the, even to give Every man according to his way and according to the fruit of his doings. Let me tell you, my brother, my sister, that the scene of imagination, evil imagination and wickedness of the heart of man is a, is a punishable, even evil before God. And even though the Bible says that the heart of man is deceitful above all things, God still brings judgment upon this. No wonder the Bible in the book of Romans chapter 12 verses 2 says, and be not confirmed, conformed to this world, but he be transformed by renewing of your mind that you may prove what is, what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God because the mind of man is very deceitful and every believer needs to take a position of renewing of their inward man, renewing of their mind so that they conform or they, so that they may be transformed even to godliness but not to be transformed not to be conformed even to the world because them that are conformed to the world, they think on the, uh, their minds and imaginations are deceitful before God and God shall bring uh, even punishment unto them. The third thing that we see is violence. Uh, violence. And the Bible says that violence was so rampant for the earth is full or filled with violence through them. God realized that man had become so sinful, man had become so sinful that the, but 
They had already destroyed their vertical relationship with God by being wicked, by being sinful, by sexual sin. And because they had lost their vertical relationship with God, their horizontal relationship could not remain. Let me tell you here and very early that the only way we can sustain healthy relationship man to man, it's only when we maintain a healthy relationship with God. The moment we lose our vertical relationship, then we can be assured that even our horizontal relationship is definitely going to be destroyed. It's definitely going to be affected. And God is calling on us this morning. God is calling on you that you may establish your relationship with God. Otherwise, you have vertical relationship, you have a horizontal relationship, your relationship with your wife, your relationship with your children, your relationship with your neighbors, your relationship with other humanity is going to be challenged. I want to tell you this morning that violence was rampant on those days, just like the way violence is rampant today. I read uh, something this week where we are being advised of how we should take our children because of the way they are being trapped through uh, the, the, the social media. And this is a form of violence because men have become so violent. They have become so imaginative and they can take our children hostage. I pray today that the Lord God shall deal with those that are violent even in their imagination in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you that if you walk in sin, if you walk in sexual sin, if you walk in wickedness and if your heart always conceives evil, if your heart always conceive violence let me tell you that judgment shall come upon you just like the way judgment came upon even the generation of Noah same way the judgment of God shall come upon this nation shall come upon this world for it is written because of their sin Jesus Christ shall come and take away the church and when he does that punishment shall come upon humanity and I want to tell you Judgment is imminent for them that are disobedient to the ways and the laws of God. Let me tell you, the consequences of wickedness was so severe for these people. In the, in the time, the generation of Adam, the consequence of, the, of, the consequence of their sin was to be pushed out of the Garden of Eden. But in this particular case, when the sin of mankind exceeded levels that God could, um, uh, God could sustain, uh, levels that God could entertain, the Bible says that God promised to destroy humanity. What does the Bible say? I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and, uh, uh, both man and the beast and the creeping thing and the fall of the air. For, the, for it repented me that I made man. Praise the Lord. Look at this. Even animals, even the creeping things are becoming subject to punishment of God because of the sinful nature of man. That is the consequence of sin. And the Bible says that I will destroy every mankind. God is holy and does not entertain sin. And in Peter, chapter, first Peter, chapter 1, verse 16, the Peter admonishes the believers and says, Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. And I want to challenge you believers today. If you are a born again Christian, if you are a child of God, I want to challenge you this morning. Be ye holy, because him who has called us is holy and expects nothing short of holiness. There God said that he's going to destroy man. God said he's going to destroy humanity, including the beasts of the air, I mean or of the land, and even the birds of the air because of the sin of humanity. I want to tell you this morning that God is God of love and he's also God of judgment. God does not let sin go unpunished. God does not let evil go unpunished. God brings punishment to every heart that sins. Now let me tell you the second thing about the consequences. Man loses his dominion. Man lost his dominion. The Bible says that, that is, I mean, the, uh, we have read that God said he was going to destroy humanity. The minute 
God destroy humanity. That means that humanity has lost its connection, has lost its relationship with God and the dominion and the power that had initially been given to him is taken away from him. That benefit take is taken away from him. I want to assure you, even today, a time is coming when God shall bring punishment unto the people of these nations, unto the people of this world, because they have done things that are abominable before the eyes of men. Talking about sexual sin is not anything new, because even some places, sexual sin has been legalized, has been commercialized. No wonder we hear of commercial sex workers that is sin before God, that is an abomination before God. And I want to say this even before God and before anybody else. If your nation, if your country, if your city has provided for sex, uh, commercial sex workers, it is just a time, it's just for a moment that the, the wrath of God shall come upon you because that is an abomination before God and God detests that kind of behaviors. It is time that nations, it is time that cities, it is time that countries run away from this sexual sin in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you that God brings termination as a way of man's wickedness. The third thing that we see is that God brings the lifespan of humanity down from the 900 years to 120. This is what the Bible says. Yet his days shall be 120 years. The days that we read of men living 900 years, 300 years, no longer existed after Noah. That never happened again. Man's life was shortened. The lifespan of man was shortened. Why was it shortened? It was because of the con it was a consequence of the wickedness of man before God. Because they lost their relationship with God. And God said, he shall not contend with man anymore. For man is mortal and is no spirit. Hallelujah. And God has brought this law to the point of 120. Today, Life expectancy in most countries is below 100. I think even in our nation, life expectancy is around 70 years. At some point, life expectancy of Kenyans was around 60 years. But thank God it has gone up a little bit. But this is because of the consequence of wickedness. And if we do not take care, the sin of this world, the sin of man, the sin of humanity will bring consequences such as bring dropping down of the lifespan of humanity. We might live a healthy life in quotes because that is what we desire. But let me tell you that God brings judgment upon every creature, upon every human being that sins against him. And we have seen three kinds of sin that God uh, punished the people of the time of of Noah, number one, sexual sin, number two, violence, and number three, wickedness and, and the wicked imagination of mankind. But I want to tell you, there is something beyond the horizon. There is something beyond the horizon. There is hope beyond the horizon. There is hope beyond mankind's destruction and beyond man's uh, uh, sinful nature. And in this time, we see the love of God and we see the grace of God being demonstrated because the Bible says that Noah found grace or favor in the house of the Lord. I pray that today, my brother, I, that, I pray that today, my sister, that you shall find favor before God. Even in this kind of an age, I mean, this period of time, when people have become sinful, when people have walked in ways of sinful nature, when people have given themselves to sexual sin, when violence is the order of the day, when wickedness and evil imagination is the, uh, the, walk, uh, is the talk of the day, I want to tell you, 
God always serves some remnants. And these are the ones that God takes beyond the horizon. And this particular generation of Noah, Noah and his three sons and their families found favor before God. And I want to thank God because the Bible tells me that God made a covenant with Noah when he built an ark to take care of the um, to take care of the, of, the, of the people that had found favor with him. God, the Bible tells me that it took more than a hundred years for Noah to build up the ark. And in so doing, God established a foundation of restoration of, for man through the family of Noah. God brought uh, uh, hope even to mankind because God is God of love, because God is God of grace. And I pray that even in this time when this world has, is full of sexual sin, when this world is full of evil imagination, when this world is full of violence, I want to pray that you shall find grace before God just like the way Noah found favor before God. May you find favor before God in the name of Jesus. May you find favor before God in the name of Jesus. And how are you going to find favor before God? You can only find favor before God through Christ Jesus who died on the cross for us. Hallelujah. And the ark was a type of Christ that brought salvation to the people of the generation of Noah. Today, we are not going to build an ark. Today, we are not going to build an ark with a, with a timber. But we have, we have, Jesus Christ has been sent so that he can be, he can save humanity. For the Bible says that he has come, that we may have life and have it more in abundance in the name of Jesus. So the ark is a type of Christ. For in Christ, we are redeemed from our sin. In Christ, we have been forgiven our sins. In Christ, we have found favor. In Christ, we have been reconciled back to God. In Christ, the, the, the letter of our condemnation and that which was sending us even to uh, for judgment was canceled, was blotted because of the blood of Jesus Christ. And this is what the Bible says in the book of John chapter 5, verse 24. Verily, verily, I say unto him, and to he that heareth my word and believeth on him that has sent me has everlasting life and shall not come to condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. And that is my message to you today. That is beyond the horizon. That is beyond human imagination. That through Jesus Christ who came, sent from the Father, whoever believes in him. The Bible says he is not condemned because he has passed from judgment unto life. And he has passed from death unto life because of Christ Jesus who died on the cross for you. Are you ready to accept Jesus Christ? Are you ready to walk in righteousness? God is looking up to you. God is expecting you to continue being righteous. The Bible says, if you are righteous, continue being righteous. But if you are sinful, continue being sinful. For judgment shall come upon you. But remember, the message of beyond the horizon is to say that beyond your judgment, there is love that has been demonstrated by God. Just like the way God showed mercy to Noah. Just like the way God showed mercy to Adam. The same way through Jesus Christ, God has given us mercy through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And as I conclude, I want to tell you this. That God is a God or beyond the horizons. That God is a God that goes beyond our human thoughts. That God is a God that continues with his original plan. He's a God that continues fulfilling his promise even from the beginning. That God is God even returning dominion to mankind. And how do we get back our dominion? We get back our dominion uh, through the blood of Jesus Christ. For the Bible says he has come that he may give that we may have life and have it more in abundance in the name of Jesus. I want to finish by reading for you 
this scripture in the book of Genesis chapter 9 verses 1 to show to you that God is a God beyond the horizon. That God is a God beyond our sinful nature. That God is God beyond even our wickedness. That God is God beyond what we go through. He is a God who goes beyond the horizon. As I welcome the worship team to be here with me, I want to assure you this thing. That when God saved Noah, the Bible says, and Noah and God blessed Noah and his sons. And he said, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Hallelujah. So that which Adam lost in the garden of Eden has been given back to Noah. For he has been told, and God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And I want to tell you, my brother, I want to tell you, my sister, when you find favor before God, this promise is to us. You can be fruitful. You can, be, you can multiply. You can replenish. You can take back the dominion. You can take back the power that God intended man to have. But today is a preserve of them that worship the Lord. May the Lord God bless you. I want to call upon you this day. If you are a believer, maintain your relationship with God. For the Bible says, in the, as we have read in the book of 1 Peter, that he is holy. So be ye holy as he is holy. Otherwise, judgment shall come upon you. And if you are not a believer, I welcome you into the presence of God. You can give your life to Jesus today and he can save you. I want us to sing one number and then we pray with you in Jesus' name. Just a short chorus in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is none like our God. There is none like our God who loves you. And although he's a God of judgment, he's calling on us to reconcile with him so that he may take us beyond the horizon. Sin can take you away and out of the out of the vicinity of God. But when Jesus Christ comes and you accept him, he makes you part of his agenda and you remain in his kingdom. I want to pray for somebody who is not born again this morning. I want you to bow down your head. If you're watching this video, if you're watching us through our live stream, I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus. Say this prayer after me. Father, I come to you. I am a sinner. I confess my sins today. Save me, O oh God, from my sexual sins and iniquity. Save me, O oh God, from my life of wickedness and evil imagination. Save me, O oh God, from the spirit of violence and any other form of sin, even the sin of rejecting your son, Jesus Christ. Remove my name from the book of death. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Pray for forgiveness today. For I have come, trusting that you have heard my prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, I pray. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer with me, and you are from within Nairobi or Kiambu County of Kenya, I encourage you to visit our church. We are located along Thika Super Highway. Gospel Centers International. If you cannot reach us, I encourage you to go to a church nearby 
where they are, which is the Bible believing church. Identify yourself to the pastor and just tell him that you have accepted Jesus Christ and he will help you in your Christian walk. If you are a believer, I want to pray with you this morning so that God may show you mercy and grace. That just like the way he showed mercy and grace to Noah, that he may find, you might find grace and favor in Jesus' name. My Lord and God, I pray this morning. I pray for my listener and the viewer of this program today. I commit them to your hands in Jesus' name. I pray for those that are believers, O oh God, that Father, you sustain them, that you keep them from falling, O oh God, that they may not fall in the trap of the evil one, so that they may be kept within the closets of your will and your purpose, O oh God. I pray that, Father, you remember them. Those that are weak, Jehovah, do not count them unrighteous with the wicked, but deliver them, O oh Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for the church this morning, my Father. The Lord God, your people, your servants may preach this word with boldness, without fear, so that they may lead many to Christ in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for our nation. I know that this nation, Jehovah God, has fallen within the sins of perversion and sexual sin, O oh God. We have seen evils being done, O oh Lord. And we have seen even with our imaginations, my Father. Violence has become the order of the day in our cities and in our nation. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May you forgive us, O Lord. Forgive us, O my Father, I pray. On behalf of our nation, on behalf of our cities, O God. On behalf of our people, may you forgive us, King of all glory. And I pray this morning in the name of Jesus, believing that God, you have heard our prayer. For I have prayed, believing and trusting in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Amen and amen. Thank you, my dear viewer. Thank you, my dear listener. God bless you for following us. And thank you for giving us an opportunity to come to you, to bring the word of God to you. I want us now to pray together as we end this service. I want to say the words of benediction to you, uh, for you in the name of Jesus. Oh God, the depths of the riches and the wisdom and knowledge of God how unsearchable are his judgment and how unscrutable, unscrutable his ways are. For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me and you all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. And let's meet next Sunday on the same platforms. Gospel Centers International Facebook Live and GCI Thicker Road YouTube. And also on Makinika online radio. May the Lord God be with you and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, when you